What if Lumen Notion had a baby? Jemu is a new productivity tool that allows you to do screen recording, similar to Loom, but it's also an advanced snipping tool that allows you to enrich the screenshot with information, text, drawings. Jemu is also a collaboration tool that allows you to organize the content and share it with colleagues for collaboration. A little bit like Notion. It's a very simple tool that can be very useful for onboarding a new hire, for reviewing a product or for customer support. And the nice thing is that it's free, at least for now. It's just born, so it needs to grow, but it has great potential. Let's go see how Jemu will boost your productivity. Let's assume we want to create an onboarding pathway for new hires. I want to welcome the new hire and train him or her on IT, then on expense reporting, and finally on quality. For each of these topics, we'll create different pieces of content. First thing, let's go to jemu.com and sign up for free. There are two types of content that we can create with Jemu videos and images. In our new hire onboarding project, let's start by creating a welcome video. We have three options. Record a video, upload an existing video, or embed a video. These two options are self-explanatory. So let's have a look at Jimu Integrated Video Recorder. There is a web version of it, but you can also download a desktop app. Let's look at Jimu Web. Here we have four options record screen and camera, camera only, screen only, or audio only. For the welcome message, I'll use camera only. By clicking on more settings, I can choose the camera I want to use, and then we can choose the microphone. I can choose the resolution, and then I can name the file. If you want, you can add a description, as well as a custom thumbnail. When ready, click on start recording. Welcome to the company. In your onboarding pathway, you'll be guided through everything you have to learn in your first two weeks. And now it's loading. The video can be edited directly in Jimu. So I've created my first piece of content in the project. I'll find it in the video library. And it will also appear under the message tab. In Jimu, each piece of content is called a message. If you want to use the desktop recorder, you'll have to download it and install it. I've tested it, and it seems to have all the same functions as the web recorder. So let's move on. So let's go to create an image. Similar to video creation, Jimu offers three options for image creation. Taking a screenshot, uploading a local image, or capture an image from a URL. Let's start from take a screenshot. You can do that with a Chrome extension or with a desktop Windows application. Let's try the Chrome extension first. You'll have to install it, and when done, you'll have a number of options available. Scrolling capture, selected area, element capture, visible area, and capture from browser, with more options to come. So let me go back to my website, click again on the extension, and let's start with scrolling capture. Jimu is automatically scrolling my website. And once it gets to the end, then it goes back to the start of the page and starts uploading the whole screenshot. The content is uploaded and now I can scroll it. That's really great compared to all other snipping tools I've tried so far. The possibility to have the whole page in one go is really interesting. And when I hover over it, then you see that I can enter my feedback. So for example, I want to comment on this saying, this is very important. The comment will display here in this right pane. Comments can be edited or replied to. That means that I can share the content and ask my colleagues to comment on it. And let's now go explore the other possibilities. Click again on the Chrome extension. We have the selected area option, which is a basic snipping tool where I can select the area that I want to capture. It's nice because I can see the size here, so if I want to capture an image of an exact size, I can do it. As soon as I'm done, it uploads to my Jimu. You can also capture an element. Jimu will automatically recognize the HTML elements. So for example, I can just select my Remote Presentation Hero logo. Or you can capture the visible area. Or you can capture content from any other window that is open on your PC. Now all the screenshots that I've taken are displaying here as a message, and they all have a green icon telling me that these are images. All the videos will have a blue icon. Now that we've seen the Chrome integration, let's also have a look at the Windows application. But before that, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.
the desktop and Chrome extensions have different functionalities, and I think it's worth using both of them. The Chrome extension is more useful when you need to take a screenshot of a website and its elements, but the desktop application is much richer in features when it comes to editing the screenshot. So let's take the image of a laptop that will represent a part of our IT onboarding. After the installation of the desktop application, an icon will appear on your screen. If you hover over it, then you'll find a number of options. Let's start from the simplest one. That is Quick Screenshot. That's the most standard snipping function, where you can basically select a region of your display and take a screenshot. When you're done, the image will be automatically saved to Gmo Cloud, and it will also be synchronized to the library Gmo Cloud on the desktop. The next function is Screenshot and Beautify. This will help you change the screenshot background, resize and edit it. And with the Mosaic function, you can also pixelate part of the pictures. With the Annotate tool, you can further add text, format it, add steps, for example, if you want to highlight a process, and then use a number of drawing tools. The Screenshot Feedback function can help you add feedback to screenshots or share your ideas of the screenshots with others. It offers similar editing tools to what we've just seen, but in addition to that, it allows you to add comments. Let's now generate some content for the quality part of our onboarding pathway. And I'll use this to check the next function, that is recognize text. So I'm assuming that if I take a screenshot of an image with text, then Jimu will recognize it. I tried with this image, but unfortunately the software was not able to recognize the text. So let me take a screenshot of a more readable text and I'll take this paragraph from Wikipedia. Unfortunately, also in this case, Jimu was not able to recognize the text. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but they may have to improve this tool. The next function is clipboard screenshot. Again, I can annotate on it, add steps, pixelate and the number of functions we've seen already. So honestly, I got a bit confused of all these options. It seems that they differ very little one from the other. So I suggest Jimu to reduce these options to only two or three and make their differences clearer. There's one more option that I left at the end, which I find really nice. That's pin screenshot. With pin screenshot, you can take multiple screenshots and put them on the desktop of the computer. You can rearrange them, you can zoom in, so that you can compare the content of the screenshots or have an overview of them all in the same place. I'll be using this feature for sure. Now that we have created all the content and have all the messages, let's organize them and create an onboarding pathway. Jemu is great at categorizing the content and displaying it in different ways so that everything is crystal clear and makes sense. You'll find all the content that you've created under Recent. So how do we organize the content? And how can we create a user-friendly onboarding pathway? Let's create a new space that is a new project and call it Onboarding Pathway. We'll now create different sections that in Jimu are called Topics. So let's create a new topic. The first one will be Welcome. The second one will be called IT Onboarding. And the third one, quality onboarding. Now let's populate each of the topics with the content that we've created. Starting from welcome, I will import a message or a piece of content to this topic. And I will import my welcome message, as well as the company homepage. You've noticed that both pieces of content have been grouped under the same card. A card is a tag, something that is shared by different messages. Actually, the video and the homepage don't fall under a similar category to me. So let's click on Add and create a new card. I can call this HR. And I wish I could just drag and drop this message into the new card, but it doesn't seem to be possible. So maybe this is another thing Jimu could work on. I will then import one of the other pictures and I can rename this card to homepage, for example, and assign it a red color. There are three different views for the messages within a topic. The one we're looking at right now is the custom view. It allows to resize the size of the cards, to move messages around and to move all cards around. The second type of view is mind map. First box will be the title of the topic. Then here we'll see the two cards with the color that we've assigned to them. 
and to the right will have access to the different messages. The third type of view is calendar. A calendar will display and by default the messages will be placed on the day they've been created. Each message will have the color of its card and here you'll be able to move them around the calendar. So let's say welcome message is on day one of the onboarding, then company homepage is on day two and then this third piece of content is on day four. You can switch between the three views as you wish. And I find that these three ways of visual representation are very useful. For the onboarding, the calendar view is great, but for a review process, for example, you may find the mind map more appropriate. Let me do the same for the other topics in my onboarding space, for the IT onboarding topic and for the quality one. And let me move the topics in the calendar, the IT ones on day four and five and six, and the quality ones on day seven and eight. What could be nice would be the possibility of choosing to display all messages in a calendar, not just those of a specific topic. Now that we've created the onboarding pathway, it's time to share it with collaborators. You may first want to share it with colleagues for review, so you'll give them the right to comment on it. And once you're done, you can share it with your new hire so he or she can start the onboarding pathway. Go give it a try and let me know what you think in the comments below. Shh. If you now want to further increase your productivity and communication skills, watch this next video here.